Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, we are gonna be talking about making these four square grid t-shirt designs. Um, we have the four square, we have the three square. I do have this in a Canva frame, but before we get too far in, I do wanna say, I will also show you how to create this in Inkscape, just in case you don't wanna go purchase the Canva frame. Um, but to start off, I'll show you how to use the Canva frame that I've created. We've got the four square and we have the three square. And let me just show you what it is we're creating here. So this is something else that is coming up on Etsy now. You can see this one has um, the squares and some um, retro flowers. This one has the four squares. For this search, I just put in floral t-shirt PNG. So we've got those two. This one already has a popular now badge on it. Uh, we've got this one here, this one here, the same type of design. We have got, there's bound to be another one. Yep, here's another one. Let's see if there's any more before I go on to the next page. Uh, yep, there's another one. So that was just page one of this search. So you can see this is something that is coming up now. These designs have not been out there long. They are just starting to pop up. So let's make them. Okay, so first of all, we are gonna start with the Canva frame template that I have already created. It is for sale in my Etsy shop. I will link to it. You will get this here with the four squares and the bow and then you'll get the one with the three squares. There's a few different things that you can make. So from this one, I made just that standard, which is this guy that we're kind of seeing in a lot of different places. And I also made this one by just deleting two of the squares and grabbing some uh, Canva elements and putting those in. And then I used the three square frame to create this design which I got, I didn't see it in this search, but if I hop over here to my favorites, you can see it right here. Um, I see this kind of starting to come up too, so I went ahead and added that into the template as well, so you can create both of those designs. Basically, um, let me just duplicate this page here. So what you're gonna wanna do is come grab your elements, look for some, I just did retro floral background. Let's go ahead and get that back up, get some graphics. And then you will start popping these florals into your frames. There, geez, that one did not wanna go in the frame. Uh, let's see here. We can grab this guy. These are not <laughs> colors you're gonna wanna use. Go find prettier paper. But there you've got those four already filled up in the frames. For the bow, you could come and get some glitter if you want. And we could throw some glitter into that frame. Or, I didn't know this on my last video, but I know it now. When you click this frame, you can click into right here, it's um, got a transparent background, but if you click into that, you can actually turn it any solid color uh, that you want. And I've got the outline around it right now in the actual frame or in the actual uh, template that you purchase, it will not have that stroke. You can turn it off or you can turn it on and increase or decrease the size of that border you can put that on any of these. Any frame will allow for a border. Let's increase the size so you can see. So that's how you would work this one. Then you would just grab your text tool, type a T, type an M, bring that over here, size it however you want it, pick whatever font you want. And that's how you're working on that design. To get this one, let's see, I deleted this frame and this frame. I think I deleted the bow, did I? Yeah. And then you come in here to your elements again and you type 
retro flower and you grab a pretty graphic and you plop it into your design and you change whatever colors you want to change. Sure. Nope. I don't want to change all. Okay. And um, that's how you would continue on to make this type of design. Now for the three strokes, it works exactly the same way. You come and grab some paper. Let's see. Rose background. Let's put um, this one and this one. Oh, that one won't go in. That one and that one. That one won't go in. Uh, uh, that one. Um, just pick whatever papers you like. You can get your papers from Creative Fabrica as well. Um, in fact, that's what I did over here for my designs. I went into Creative Fabrica and I used my um, all access membership to download bundles of paper that kind of went together so that I could create these designs. But anyway, and then for this one, you can kind of type in whatever. Let's get a retro font. Um, let's do, I don't know. I'm trying not to take a ton of time. I don't even know what that is, but sure. And you put your word on here, you position it kind of halfway through, then you get your smaller words. If you want to put smaller words down at the bottom, if you want to, um, any type of design, you know, you do your larger word on top, your smaller word on bottom, and that's how you create all of those different designs with the Canva template. Again, I will link to that in my Etsy shop. Super, super simple. Have fun. Go grab that. If you don't want to buy the template, let's head over to Inkscape. Again, Inkscape is free design software. You download it onto your computer. It is absolutely free to use. And to create these is actually really, really easy too. All of this was created from a piece of digital paper and a square frame. You do need to use an SVG frame. Um, if you're in Creative Fabrica, you can look up um, SVG brush strokes, SVG frames. Um, it'll give you some squares. I didn't find any that I really liked that were in SVG format already. If that's the case for you, let me show you how to turn a PNG into an SVG. So this right here, it's an image. It is a PNG file, but I can turn it into an SVG so that I can create these designs. All I need to do is select my PNG image, come to path, trace bitmap. It's going to pull up another little um, menu for you over here. I'm going to come to multicolor, to colors. Just two is fine because what you have here should be one solid color. If you've got a PNG that has multiple colors, go pick something different. Not that this won't work, it absolutely will, but you don't need it for this design. Um, we want to smooth stack, remove background. It shouldn't have a background if it's a PNG, but let's just be safe. Hit that remove background and then apply. You won't see it work, but there it is. It's always the one on top. If you don't know which one it is because they're going to look super similar, you click this one, it's going to say image. You click this one, it's going to say path. We have now turned this PNG into an SVG. That's all we needed to do. This I can now delete. I don't need it. I'm going to close out that frame and make that a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to duplicate my paper here. Again, I have gotten all of this paper from Creative Fabrica. Um, you can get yourself a free um, 10 free downloads to give it a try or you can sign up for the all access membership. It's like $3.99 a month and they bill it once a year and you'll get everything you need downloaded completely free for that one time yearly um, membership fee. Okay, so here's my SVG. Here is my digital paper. I'm going to make a copy of this too, just duplicate it. I hit right click to duplicate. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to create this process over and over and over again. 
to get your um, things, once you've downloaded them from Creative Fabrica to get them into Inkscape, you just come to File and Import. And you can get any paper you want. Let me just throw this one in here too. And open. And there it is in my design. I love Inkscape, it is so easy to use. Okay, so let's just go ahead and create our grid. Right click, duplicate. We want four of them, right? Right click, duplicate. Move that out of the way. Let's um, adjust these. I've selected those two squares. I'm gonna move everything over, increase my screen so you can really see what we're doing. Okay, let's select these two squares. Oh, <laughs> let's select the top two squares. And we're gonna come and align them. If you don't see your align tool, just click right here. It's gonna show you all the different tools available. Here is your align and distribute tool. So let's um, align the bottoms of, okay. I'm gonna hit Control Z and tell you exactly what just happened here. Control Z is undo, it'll undo whatever you just previously did. When you come to your alignment, you want your alignment to be set to whatever is in your selection area. Mine was set to my page, so that it just moved these two squares to the bottom of my page. Make sure it's set to your selection area. Then we can align the bottoms. I'm gonna use my arrows and move this one to where it's way closer, okay. Let's grab these two, align the bottoms, awesome. Now, we're gonna make sure everything all lines up. So I'm gonna take these two, I'm gonna align the left sides, beautiful. These two, I'm gonna align their left sides. Now everything is perfectly lined up, I've got the grid. Okay, let's get this paper in it. I decreased my screen size. You can increase and decrease your screen size by simply pushing the minus sign to decrease and the plus sign to increase. All right, here's this paper. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to send it to the back so that my SVG is on top and my paper is on the bottom. I'm gonna use my little arrows here to do that. That's gonna move it all the way to the bottom. Okay, now I will select the paper and the SVG square. Right click, set clip, there it is. Let's get me another one of these. We are just going to do this over and over again. Move it down, select them both. Set clip, beautiful. That one happened to already be underneath it. So I will select them both. And you can also do um, object and clip and set clip. Oh, I didn't make a copy of that one. I need one more. If you need to get this design out of your SVG, just right click it and hit release clip. I need a copy of that design. Duplicate. All right. So let's set this clip again. And if you want to see where it's going, you can take your digital paper. If you come in here to your fill tool, again, you don't see it here. Just click this little menu. It's called the fill and stroke tool. Open that up. And while this is selected, you can knock the opacity down. Knock it down a lot. And now if I move this around, I can see if I enlarge it. I can see where it's going to be in my square. Let's say I want it right there. Now, before you set that clip, you gotta pull your opacity back up. Then we're gonna take this. We are going to move it to the bottom. Select both our design and our SVG square. Right click, set clip, there's your grid. Now you're gonna put in four different papers. For this tutorial, I just did the one paper because it was the easiest thing to do. Um, for the bow, I also just went and found a bow SVG on uh, Creative Fabrica, put that in here, and filled it with a pattern the exact same way. 
or you don't even have to fill it with a pattern. You can just make it a solid color. This is just a regular bow SVG. Okay, so to do this, it was exactly the same. I used the exact same square, filled it with different patterns, and all the rest of this is just putting your text on. So let's put some text in here. I'm gonna come grab my text tool. I'm gonna click it, click my screen, and I'm gonna type an M. That is absolutely not the font that I want. If you get something weird like that, don't worry. It will go away once we work with this a little bit more. Um, it has this white stroke around it. First of all, let's change the font. I don't like that font. So I'm back here in my text tool and it will pull up all of my font options. Um, let's do, let's do a varsity font. I don't think that's going to look great on this design, but we're going to do it because it's going to be easy to see. There we go. <laughs> Not great. Okay. If you want the outline around it, you're going to need to turn the stroke on. We are here in our fill and stroke tool. That's where we were just a second ago. We're going to stay there. Here's the fill, which is the inside color. Here is the stroke, which is that outline. I've clicked on stroke. If I do not want the outline, I click the X and that outline goes away. If I do want the outline, I click the first box to make it a flat outline. And then I can change how thick or thin it is. I'm decreasing down to zero and increasing. Now it's really big. I can also change the color of that stroke. I'm gonna come back here to stroke and I can do anything I want with it. I can move it and make it any crazy color I want. I can grab the little dropper tool here and I can come put it over this and it'll turn that color. If I grab the dropper tool again and put it over like the orange, it'll turn that color. So you can change the color of your stroke. You can change the color of your fill by clicking back into your fill. And down here, you can just kind of click into anything that you want. You can do the same thing here. You can move this around. You can um, take the dropper, go get any color that you want. That's how you're gonna work with these to create um, the grid design in Inkscape if you don't want to buy the Canva frame. All right, so after this, you just select everything that you've got done, you come to file and export, and we only wanna export the selection. You gotta be careful, this says export page right now. It's gonna export what is actually on this white work page, but I wanna export this. So I'm gonna to come to selection, and now you can see it's exporting everything I have selected. All right guys, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.